this will probably be the last night I stay here just so I can get some clothes I don't want to keep nicking clothes even if I can't. <laughs> I'm theoretically doing the right thing by nicking $3.50 shirts not brand shirts so I'm here to take as much clothes as I can and anything and not come back because this fucking place keeps going off the alarms that is and I I, it's not me, but yeah, and I've got another hundred places to go to, so I'll go there instead. This will probably be the last night I'm here, but have a go at this. I'm cooking a famous fry pan pizza. Oh fuck, where's my spoon? Where the fuck did I put my spoon? For fuck's sake. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. The ultimate cooking utensil. Just ask Thomas Keller. And this place is dirty as fuck because there is no water. So this has been frying for about three minutes. Oh yeah! A little crispy. But watch how it turns. Fuck yeah. So I'll leave that for about a minute and then I'll turn it off and I'll show you what it looks like. How great. So there you go. Voila. Cheese has melted perfectly. Obviously there's a bit of crisp but that's mostly from the uh, part of the crust on the bottom that was crisp to the pan. But it's, it still has a fucking amazing taste. That you just don't get with conventional pizza so i'm going to find a way to cut this i don't think i've got a knife here but i could go over it with the spoon bit by bit or i could find something else that is uh, spade like or putty knife like i'll find something and i'll cut it and it looks spectacular give me a moment faithful to my word i've had to go over it with a spoon but it worked Fuck yeah. Mmm. Definitely good. Mmm. Mmm. Really, really good. Mmm. -hmm. Fry pan pizza, it's one of the best things you can have. <laughs> Unbelievably tasty. And the fucker only takes about four minutes to cook. Mm. I think I invented fry pan pizza. I started doing it in about 2000. 19, 2020. I didn't see anyone. I haven't seen it done before. But yeah, fry pan pizza. It's fucking beautiful. But then again, there are pizzas you can cook on the barbecue hot plate, so <laughs> probably not my invention, but I certainly didn't copy anyone. Mm. And all this was playing. Resident Evil 3 off the projector taking up the, half the fucking room and it's a big room it's the ultimate cinematic experience with headphones just makes it that much more intense so a little about me and Resident Evil I've been playing it since I was a fucking 8 year old 9 year old it is my favourite game by far my sister's father he is the culprit for introducing me to the game <laughs> but fuck I love it so I've got all Resident Evils from 1 to 8. And I've even got Code Veronica and Revelations. Let's see if I can go into what I've got. But I'm going to play this. I'm, all, I'm close to halfway in this one. So if I go home, you'll see that the only games I've got is Resident Evil 3, 
Resident Evil, the original, that is one. Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil Code Veronica, Resident Evil Zero. Oh, Zero, okay. And Resident Evil Revelations, Resident Evil 6, and Resident Evil Biohazard 7. So I've fucking got all of them. All 11 of them. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I've finished. Uh, what have I finished? I finished Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 6, and Resident Evil 8. Oh, how about that? 2, 4, 6, 8. Who do we appreciate? Yalunga, Yalunga. Yeah, Yalunga. Sorry, that's my Blacktown North uh, carnival chant. What fucking house was I in? There were four houses. I think I was Greenway. I think I was Greenway. Or was it... Was I blue? Because I used to wear a blue shirt. I don't think I was Greenway. I think I was the one with the blue shirts. There were one with yellow, one with green, one with blue, and one with red. And I was the blue shirt. That's right. So I wasn't Greenway. They wouldn't have had a blue shirt. Anyway. Oh, no, that's right. I was Yalunga. Duh. Hence why we used to say Yalunga. But the point is, I've finished 2, 4, 6, and 8. I've got to finish the original 1, 3, 5, and 7. I haven't finished those. And I I think it was Code Veronica I finished years ago at my friend's house. Either that, either that or the Revelations or Zero. One of those three. I'm adamant it was one of those three I finished. So I've technically finished five of them. And that means I've got six to go. So this will be my sixth one. And that will mean I have five to go. But fuck, it's the best. Resident Evil, the ultimate. I'm a lifetime fan of Resident Evil. Absolutely love the game. I'm as fanatical as they come. Like, as in, not a bad fanatical, but the type, those real gamers that are in their 30s and 40s, the ones that are professional, you know, the ones that are full intense, not the teenage gamers, but the ones who are really dedicated to the gaming. I really am like that with Resident Evil, but nothing else. I, I'm not a gamer by no means. I don't play anything else but Resident Evil, although I will dabble with Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto, and Call of Duty, just those three. Outside those games, I won't touch any other games. It's just not my thing. They're the most real, realistic in my point of view, and that's why I only play those games. I mean, zombies aren't that realistic, but the gameplay, the attitudes, the way it all goes down, it's its a realistic game in that regard. I just fucking love Resident Evil. Absolutely love it. So back to three. I think I'm up to that big fucking beast chasing me everywhere. I've gone to that subway station. And he's fucking chasing me everywhere. Yeah, there he is. It is him. Fucking bastard. Look at him. See, I'm not playing it at the moment. I'm letting him give it to me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm up to the part where I've got to try and distract him away from the substation so they can get the train. Because they need, I think it's 40 or 50 minutes, they need to get the train going. Fuck, I love these games. So that's me tonight. Pizza, Resident Evil, fuck yeah.